Okay, I'm not gonna take too much of your time. I want to talk to you really quickly about a word that we all know. It's a word that we all know, a word that most of us use, and the word is empty. And I want for you to think about the word empty for a minute. What is empty? Empty means nothing on the inside. And if there's nothing inside, that means there has to be an outside. And if there's an outside, that means the outside could look great, but there's still nothing on the inside. <laughs> the thing about empty is, empty could look awesome. For instance, I'm in my car right now, and um, my car looks really good on the outside, but if I had no fuel in my car, and I didn't tell you, it looks like a really nice car, but it's empty on the inside. <laughs> empty knows no brand. Empty does not care whether you're rich or poor or fat or slim or dark or beautiful. Empty does not care whether you're a professional, whether you have a job or not. Empty does not care whether you're Bill Gates or you're a street beggar. Matter of fact, a friend of mine, most of you probably heard the story. A friend of mine who had it all, really. I mean, he was working with BET. He was a supermodel. So, you know, he had a lot of money and um, he was, you know, wearing the best brands. He was working with, you know, um, the Tommy Hill figures and the Gucci's and the Marnie's and all of that. And, um, and he was in movies and stuff like that. So he pretty much had the life, you know, he was living the life. That's what a lot of people would say. And, um, well, a month ago, he jumped off a bridge and killed himself and ended his life. Ended his life. And honestly, if anyone had said that he could have ended his life the way it did, would all say that was a lie. Because he looked good on the outside. Because he had all the money. Because he had the girls. Because he had the cars. I mean, because his life seemed perfect empty <laughs> you know the crazy thing about empty is it usually gives you a warning sign before something gets empty for instance my car before the fuel runs out of my car it starts to blink to tell me that the fuel is getting you know is running out for some people it gets to E so that it tells you that you're getting empty and if you're hungry, for example, and your stomach is empty, you feel hunger pangs, right? Something in your stomach just jerks and tells you, I'm hungry, I need to fill my stomach with something, I'm empty. So usually, empty gives you a warning sign before you finally get empty. Now, if something was empty, that means it was full before. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere, you'll get it. If something was empty, then it means it used to be full before. Okay. And if something used to be full before, that means that it could be filled with anything. It could be filled with good stuff or junk. You could decide to, in, in Ghana, if you're buying gas for your car, or fuel as we call it, for your car, there are two different types. There's the really expensive one that's called V-Power, and there's the really cheap one that's called Super. You could decide whether you want to get V-Power or Super. It's totally up to you. You could decide what you want to fill your stomach with, whether you want to eat junk food or healthy food. The crazy thing about empty is the person who is holding that thing is the one who knows that they're empty. And it's, the, it's that person who decides what they want to take in. I'm going somewhere. Stay with me. Where I'm headed is, I used to be empty. And for a lot of people that I'm meeting lately, they are empty. Empty because the way that God created us human beings, the way he designed our hearts to be, he created a hole on our insides. And that hole on your inside is a hole that he created so that he can connect with you. 
because we are created in his image that means that you know if we're created in God's image that means that we're like God so he created us in such a way that he can reach us through that little hole on our inside now the hole on your inside naturally desires to be filled with something every human being has that hole on your inside and if it, 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 it just naturally desires to be filled with something people fill it with so many different things some people fill it with money because they feel I need a lot of money I need to make some money and it's good to make money because money's good they say money answereth all things but if that money finishes it's gone back to empty some people might say okay I'm gonna fill that hole with achievements and achieving my dreams and my goals that's a good thing it's good to achieve your dreams and your goals but what if you lost that job what if you lost all of those things that you thought that you were achieving and you went back to square one empty Someone might say well since it's a hole in my heart maybe I can fill it with a man or a woman find some love what if you lost that love you're back to empty the reason why God designed our hearts that way and created that little void in there is because the only thing that can fill it is God and if you fill it with anything else it's like putting a square peg in a round hole it won't fit because the way that the hole has been created is so that anything else that tries to fit in there that's not supposed to fit in there will not fit. It's either whatever you're fitting in there is too small so it would get lost in there or it's too big and it just will not be able to fit in. But if you place God in that emptiness, he fits in perfect. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. But if you feel empty, you have all the money, you have a really good job, you're in love, you have everything that you think you should have, but there's just something that makes you feel not satisfied. There's just something that makes you feel, I need something else, I don't know what it is, I'm just not happy, I don't feel fulfilled. If that's you, then what you're missing on the inside is God. And he's the only person that can fill that void. And if you allow for him to fill that void, that emptiness is going to be closed up and I kid you not you are going to be the happiest person in the world because you would not have a need for yes money you would have I mean everyone needs money and love and achievements and all those things but even if you lost those things and you have God on your inside he fills you in such a way that you need nothing else but him like he fills you in such a way that there's a joy on your inside and people just ask you all the time what is up with you why are you so happy all the time what's going on with you P people ask me that all the time and I tell them is because I'm not empty anymore God took that space and he filled it up and how do you get for God to fill that space you can't fill an empty thing from afar you can't fill an empty thing from afar if I wanted to fill the gas in my tank I can't be standing all the way on the other side of the road and have the gas all the way on the other side of the road I can't fill it if I wanted to fill a bottle of water I cannot have um, the, the, the tap that I'm gonna fill it with all the way on one side and have the, the, the bottle all the way on another side to fill something you need to be close to it so if you want for God to fill you you need to get close to him so that he can fill you up the way he needs to fill you up and it's easy all you have to do is talk to him tell him God I feel empty I'm tired I don't know what direction I'm running in. I don't know where to turn. I don't know what job I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what steps to take. I, I don't know what to do next. I just feel so empty. I'm not happy. And if you admit it, the first step to actually being able to solve the situation is admitting that you have that problem. If you admit that you are empty, God would step in. And I kid you not, he would turn everything around for you. So if you're empty, you need to fill yourself with some God. You need to pray. You need to talk to him. You need to read the word. You need to worship. Anything that can connect your heart to God. So that space that's created in your inside, that, that void on your inside, that hole cannot be a hole anymore. Because you're constantly connected to God. 
and that emptiness is constantly filled. There's so much junk in this world lately, so much junk on the radio that we listen to, so much junk on the television that we watch, so much junk because your friends are gossiping all the time and not focusing, and, and we're, we're stuck in all this junk, and it's really difficult, I know. It's really, really difficult sometimes to be able to you know, focus on God when all this junk is around you. But if you fill that void with God, it's really, really, it's so much easier for him to block the nonsense for you because he's inside of you and he makes it so much easier. So I'm just saying this to whoever is out there that feels empty, that God can fill you up and he can make you whole and your life will never be the same again. All you have to do is open your mouth and talk to him. That's it. Don't stay empty. Let him fill you up. Just open your mouth and say, fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. I open up my heart. Fill me up, God. I open up my soul. Fill me up, God. I open up my mouth. Fill me up. So every time I open my mouth, I'm saying something sensible. Fill my heart so that my heart can only receive, you know, what you want it to receive. Fill my thoughts so that I can only think what you want for me to think. So that all that junk does not enter into your insides. Ask for God to fill you up. And thank you for listening to my periscope. And feel free to tap the screen as many times as possible so we can heart it up and other people can reach it. And feel free to share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. And, um, yeah. I said what God laid on my heart, and I'm glad that I said it because I spoke it from my heart. I love you so much, but God loves you more. Never forget that. Stay blessed. And um, I guess I'll talk to you later.